Hey guys, thanks for joining me for this two day speed clean with me. I'm gonna be doing some deep cleaning, pulling out my washer and dryer to clean behind it, tackling three loads of laundry and just cleaning all over my home. I'll also be sharing a huge grocery haul with you. So let's get ready and let's do this together. Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this, hello. I hope you're ready to get something done today. I hope you're ready to get motivated, get inspired to get just at least one thing done today. Maybe you're ready just to kick back and relax and watch me do all of the work, which is totally fine. Um, but hopefully I can give you guys some satisfying speed cleaning. So I'm gonna be cleaning all over my house. And the main thing I'm focusing on this week is pulling out my appliances, my washer and dryer to clean behind them. It's been a long time and I was even able to get some rust that was on our tile, on our flooring. So I will show you what I use, the product I use to get the rust off of the floor that I could not get out. And I'll also be sharing a Walmart grocery haul. The twins were napping, Avery was in school, so it was time to get to work. So I totally should have done this before I made my bed, but it was one of those things where I just started cleaning and I always just pick up my the floor of my bedroom and then I just make my bed. It's like instinct just to just go and do that. It's like part of the routine. Um, but I was like, oh, I haven't cleaned the fan in here in a while and this fan gets really, really dusty. So I grabbed a pillowcase and then I just slid it down the blades of the fan to get off all of the dust. And then I was going to vacuum my bed frame. And it's crazy because when you look at this bed frame, if you feel it, you wouldn't think that it would hold in a lot of dust, dirt, or like dog fur or anything. But I'm always shocked at how much stuff actually comes out of this bed frame. I get asked a lot about do I have a set cleaning schedule and to be honest with you I don't have a set cleaning it's not like every Monday I do this or I mean there are some things that I like every Sunday I wash towels you know something like that but our schedules change week to week activities for the kids changes week to week you know there's always something like on a random night even if we don't have an activity something comes up someone's birthday some dinner some school event, something like that so i feel like our weeks change week to week so every sunday night i sit down and i plan out my to-do list every day and what i want to accomplish there are some days um you know the twins go to school for a few hours in the morning two times a week so on those days i can get more done because they also nap in the afternoons other days, I can barely get anything done. So I just kind of sit down, plan out a few things each day. I just kind of prioritize what needs to be done. So for example, I don't get to clean the girls' bathroom and our bathroom every single week. I mean, I could, but I, you know, somewhere you have to draw the line and say, it's okay to let things go. Um, so I kind of like go, like, 
in my head, I'm thinking, okay, this week I do the our master bathroom. Next week I'll do the girls' bathroom, that type of thing. Um, not every part of my house is sparkling clean every week. Nobody's got time for that, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, so not a set cleaning schedule. I just kind of keep it in my mind and then periodically to try to fit in deep cleaning tasks every single week. So with the cleaning schedule, you know, of course, you know, I'm doing my like normal pickup, vacuum, dust, all of those normal cleaning tasks. But then I always pick at least one thing to deep clean every single week. Um, this week it was the laundry room. I wanted to pull out the washer and dryer and clean behind it because last time I did it, which I think was like last December, um, there was rust on the floor and I had I could not get it off. And a lot of you guys suggested Barkeeper's Friend. And by the time the video went up and I had the suggestions, the washer and dryer was already put back. And honestly, pulling out my washer and dryer is pretty low on my list of priorities and things to deep clean. So I just have not done it since last December. So this time I was ready to pull it out or I was gonna have Mike do that for me. And then I was gonna go back there clean and then try out the barkeeper's friend. I am, to be honest with you, a little bit nervous because you know, the twins' room is right there. I cranked up their sound machine and I'm just hoping that I don't wake them up. So originally when I tried to film this, um, the twins did not nap and I was like, you know what? I need to make for sure I talk about this because sometimes, you know, you like you get frustrated or you just kind of like get in your swing of things and I forget to share things like, yes, I'm always talking about having time to clean during nap time, but it does it always happen. It definitely does not. So for me, when I do clean during nap time for the most part, you know, for me, it's having that to do list already set. And then when I wake up that morning, my mindset is nap time is go time you know as soon as they go down and I find that preparing myself all morning long for that afternoon clean is so helpful mindset is very very important as far as sticking to a cleaning schedule um but yeah the twins just did not nap and I will tell you I am very blessed that I would say 98 percent of the time they take at least a two-hour nap they've always been really good sleepers but of course of course they are kids they are toddlers so it's not always perfect so i actually had tried to start cleaning but they just were not going to nap um actually emery fell asleep addison refused and she kept screaming at emery emmy emmy wake up wake up and so emery eventually got woken up and then it was like we were at the point of no return so this was attempt number two and luckily they did sleep for me so here's your reminder. Things don't always go planned as planned or perfect, but you know what? I guess that's just mom life.
I do want to apologize for the weird angles back here. You know, you can only put the camera in so many areas and I always try to get like the good angles and clips because it can get boring of like the same angle over and over, but it was really hard back here. Um, but I was using Barkeeper's Friend. It's They have a soft cleanser and a powder. I was using the powder. I sprinkled it on the rust spots, sprayed it with some water, and then I started scrubbing with a microfiber cloth. And honestly, I was really impressed how fast it started to come up. Now, I was holding the camera and then trying to scrub in the other hand, and so I wasn't scrubbing very hard, and it was just a microfiber cloth. And I was sitting there thinking, like, if it wasn't so difficult to get back out of here and go downstairs, I'd get, like, a scrub brush. I bet it would have came off, like, so easily, but it was already hard enough to get out and I was trying to hold the camera so I was just using my microfiber cloth and I was so impressed. I was able to get all of the rust off of the floor. Pretty amazing stuff. Barkeeper's Friend is a product that I don't necessarily use on a weekly or daily basis but when I need the big guns, when I need that workhorse of a cleaner, this is one of the products I always try. If I can't get something off um, a surface, um, this is what I try. And it, most of the time, doesn't disappoint. So next step was to clean my washer and dryer with my Bissell Steam Shot hand steamer. And this just does such a good job of getting into all of those cracks and crevices um, of my washer and dryer. And then I was also gonna use this to clean grout, which I found this is an amazing grout cleaner. Um, but as I'm cleaning, I do wanna talk to you guys about something I talked about recently on my Instagram stories, but I know you guys don't all follow me over there. So this is just really important that I just wanna thank you. Um, so something that I have found doing YouTube for four years is that six videos a month is manageable for me as far as, you know, putting out content, cleaning, because I mean, I have to find the time to clean, usually during nap time, um, cleaning, editing, all of that. Six videos is manageable. It allows me to be mom first, do my mom job, and then also put out content without like working like editing all night you know and all of that anyways six videos is manageable for me um and now on the other side of that um you know i know you guys know this but i get offers to work with brands all of the time and um, something that is really really important to me um just for me this is just something like a something that i've set that I think is really important is that I want to make for sure that each month more of my content is not sponsored than sponsored and you guys are always so nice and so supportive and I, I cannot thank you enough for that but even if you're okay with every video being sponsored it's just something for me I just want to make for sure I'm genuine and sharing with you plenty of non-sponsored content if that's not your thing so I feel like um, when brands come to me I cap it off at two a month so sometimes it's one a month sometimes it's two but I don't like working with more than two brands because then at that point half of my content is sponsored and I don't like that now for the month of November I got offered to work with a brand that I was already going to work with and then another brand, a huge, huge store that I shop at every week came to me and they wanted me to do two videos and I was shocked and honored to be able to work with this brand and sometimes I can't believe that brands like that want to work with me and so I, I said yes because it was a you know dream to work with them. But then that meant that three of my videos were going to be sponsored for the month. And, you know, I just, I mean, I know a lot of you guys are so happy and like don't care at all, but it's just something for me that's so important. Um, so I'm putting up an extra video this month just to make for sure that more of my content is not sponsored for you guys. Um, so this next Thursday, I'm going to be cleaning at my parents' house, doing like a nighttime clean with me and I'm saying all of this to, to number one tell you why I'm putting up an extra video so three Thursdays in a row um, but I also just want to thank you for 
supporting me when I have sponsored content, you know, the community, you guys are the most important to me. It's it's not the money. Um, luckily, I have a husband who, prof- who provides more than enough than what we need to live our lives. Um, but it is nice to have a hobby where I can make money to put into savings and put into our, our children's future. So I just want to thank you for allowing me to do something that I truly love that is my hobby, but also to make a little bit of money from it. And you guys are the most important. I hope you know that. And I just thank you for being the community that I need. And I hope that I can be and provide that for you as well. I can, you know, you guys are always my biggest champion and I want to be that champion for you guys. So all of this to say, thank you. Thank you guys. So here I was just cleaning the rest of the laundry room and you guys, the girls did not wake up. Hallelujah. <laughs> so it took a couple of days, but luckily they slept pretty well. I did crank up their sound machine. Um, during nap time, I, I've been in this mode of cranking it up really loud because I mean, during the day you have Amazon or <laughs> Amazon deliveries, the FedEx guy, UPS, mail lady, and then the dog's always barking um that type of thing so i just there's nothing worse than when a barking dog or a doorbell like you hear that and your kids are napping and you just cringe and you're like no but even during this um summertime um we live on a cul-de-sac and so like there's a lot of grassy areas that's owned by the, the um the neighborhood or whatever and they come in and like a company cuts the grass and those machines are really loud the people behind us pay someone to come in and cut their grass and those machines are really loud so i've been used to cranking up their sound machine but luckily they did not wake up for me So like I said earlier, I'm putting up an extra video this month. I put up one, I think the 4th of November and then the 11th and then the 18th. So this upcoming Thursday, new video, and it's going to be me cleaning at my parents' house. Just a little different, you know, house, a different, you know, they have different surfaces. They have a different stovetop. So I like going over there to clean and they love it as well they welcome me in so i go over there i clean for them and then it's just also nice for me to show you guys different ways to clean different appliances you know, like not all of you guys have a glass cooktop stove so you can watch me clean mine but it may not help you so it's kind of nice for me to go over there they have a different shower they have a different stove top they have different countertops so it's nice for me to go over there and clean a new space but then also try to find different um, cleaning products to clean those appliances that maybe I don't have.
I was trying to show you guys the footprints um, on the dark hardwood floors and I mean I don't like the dark hardwood floors and one of the reasons is because like this the floor could be completely clean and then you could just step like we don't wear our shoes in the house but I mean sometimes like you guys know how it is it's like like we'll go we'll load up the girls like we're going somewhere and then you're like oh shoot I forgot something and like you run back in and like yeah we're not going to wear our shoes in the house but who's honestly going to take their sh untie their shoes take their shoes off to literally run in the kitchen grab something and go back out I mean I'm super strict about not wearing shoes in the house but of course I do that Mike does that so the dark hardwood floors do drive me crazy because it shows everything and people are always like don't you hate that it shows everything and I'm like yes but then at the same time if they were lighter that dirt may get hidden you may not see it but it's still there and there's almost a point of part of me that's like well I kind of like being able to see it because it forces me to clean it more because I see it like if an area is always hides dirt sometimes you don't realize how dirty it is with that being said if I change if I could change these if I was going to change these floors right now I would make them lighter for sure um but I guess I'm like well I guess it forces me to stay on top of making sure my floors are super clean Good morning! You can tell it's the morning. I always get so puffy in the morning and I slept great. Like I got plenty of sleep. Like you know a lot of times if you don't get good sleep, you're puffy, but I feel like I look puffy for some reason. Anyways, <laughs> I'm drinking my coffee. Um, all three girls are at school. So it, we got Avery on the bus. Mike just took her to the bus stop. Um, I took the the twins to school earlier this morning. So they go to a school program for a couple hours, two times a week, and it's just been amazing. Like, so I have about an hour and a half, two hours max. So let's try to get it done. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking. It's like we're done before we even started. So if this is the end now, baby, know that I gave him my all. I believe in us. I won't give up on you. I will be holding on for life. Hope you believe in us. Please don't give up on me. At least give me a try. Cause you're the best thing, the best thing. Something else, I don't know if you guys noticed, when I first got down here in the kitchen, there was a laptop on the table. So Mike's kind of been hopping around the house since he's still working from home. Um, he only uses the office for the most part if he needs two screens when he's working on Excel a lot and he needs to go back and forth between two computer screens. But he's kind of been hopping around the house, like going in the basement, he'll hang out in our bedroom. But then you think about it, for me, so when the twins are napping, I'm like, running all over the house cleaning and then he's kind of like we're kind of like hopping around each other like working around each other um as far as okay what am I cleaning today and he'll be like where are you going this is where I'm going and I know it sounds so bad that he's like working around me as I clean but number one he's totally good with it because he knows how important cleaning is to me so he's like just do your thing but also um for any of you guys who don't work from home you're probably like oh I would totally work around my spouse if they were cleaning I wouldn't mind hopping from room to room as long as I got to work from home and that's exactly how he feels because this is not a for forever thing he will eventually have to go back to the office but he just loves working from home and he feels so grateful that he gets to sit on a couch go in the basement I mean that's a lot more comfortable than having to go into an office so he's always like totally good with moving around and working around all of my my cleaning schedules
So on this day, it was kind of a bunch of random stuff I wanted to get done. You know, I have my list of things that I want to do, but then you notice, oh, there's applesauce on the the wall and on the cabinet. So I better clean that. You know, um, I've been asked a lot why they're still in high chairs. And honestly, they fit totally fine and they're contained. So that's why they're still in high chairs. I feel like as long as they fit, I don't think it matters. Um, they like, well... They do sit at the table sometimes in their booster chairs, but they're not con completely confined and they have a hard time sitting still. So in the high chairs, they sit, they eat better because they're, they're right there. They can't, they can't leave. Um, so they're still in the high chairs. And honestly, I feel like the high chairs are easier to clean than the table because the table, there's a lot of grooves, crumbs and stuff gets under the booster seat. I don't know. It's just, honestly, the high chairs are easier to keep clean. Um, so I was doing all of this and then I was going to use my Swiffer Extend Duster on the top of my cabinets and then clean the girls' bathroom upstairs and then I'll share with you that Walmart grocery haul. Honestly, the grocery haul is from a couple of weeks ago, but what happened is I filmed it and then every week when I clean and I film, it just ends up being so much cleaning that I don't have, like, I can't fit in the grocery haul because I did so much cleaning and I'm like... You know, like when I clean, I don't do it for the video. It's not like I'm like, okay, I got to clean this for the video. When I film, I just clean what needs to be clean. And unfortunately, you know, it ends up being a lot. So when I put the footage in, I'm like, oh, it's so long. I can't, I can't add in the grocery haul. So luckily this week, um, just for whatever, the, I think because the twins didn't nap very well, I didn't get as much cleaning done as I had wanted or had hoped to, and that happens. Uh, so it was time to add in the grocery haul. So I have a lot of groceries to show you guys. Um, I just went and picked up the groceries and it was a pretty big order. So I'll show you everything I got, plans for meals this week. And okay, so when I put these in, I tried to organize them as far as like cold foods and things like that, but there was just so much and not enough room. But anyways, so fruit, we go through so much fruit, but look at these blueberries, you guys. They're huge, they're like almost the size of grapes, like a small grape. So blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries, and I just typically rotate the fruits every single week just so they don't get tired of the same fruits over and over. And bananas, we pretty much get bananas every week. Some bell peppers for a recipe I'm making. Um, Danimal, these are yogurt smoothies. Avery likes drinking these in the morning and the twins also enjoy them. I love these, so good, just so good. I love these as do all three kids. They're the almond butter ones, they have peanut butter. I think the almond butter is better than the peanut butter even though I like peanut butter in general better. You have to try those, so good. Um, okay, so I use these either for tacos or to make wraps when I'm eating a meal that's lower carb. So high fiber, um, carb lean, I guess I don't really know what that means, but I really like these because they're really, really soft. And a lot of times for lunches, I'll use this, some turkey and some avocado. Really simple, um, but it's one of my go-to lunches. Carrots lemon limes limes for a recipe i add lemon to my water when i want something a little bit different avocados are usually pretty a, sta a big staple in our house onion for a recipe cilantro for a recipe salad for both avery and i she's been on a huge salad salad kick and that's something else i eat a lot um, for lunches which i'll show you the chicken that i'll add to it um bread 
broccoli. This is a favorite of mine, probably my favorite vegetable, as does Avery. Avery also loves broccoli, green beans for the girls, rice cauliflower for a recipe that I'm making. This is my favorite bread. Um, I'm also, I, I also eat a lot of eggs and toast. Um, a lot of eggs in general, but I wrote, this is my favorite bread. Thin sliced Dave's Killer bread. It's the good seed. Um, some rolls, because I'm making um, spaghetti and lasagna later on this week. Ravioli, which I'm going to be making later this week as well. Pancakes. Addison, I just told her the other day, you're going to turn into a pancake girl because she can crush those pancakes. She loves pancakes. Um, and then I got some French toast for the girl. And then some spinach and cheese tortellini. The girls love this spinach and cheese tortellini. Love it. Okay. Oh, I forgot about these. We've never tried these, but I figured let's give them a try. Zucchini, garlic, and Parmesan veggie fries. So we will see. I think they look pretty good. And cheese, mac and cheese cups, turkey for Avery's lunches, and then again, I make those in my wraps. Um, this is for a recipe. Some mac and cheese bites, frozen mac and cheese bites, and then some Mickey mozzarella. It's like they're basically mozzarella cheese sticks, but shaped like Mickey. Making an effort to eat up a lot of the stuff in our freezer because we have like our inside freezer and then our freezer out. We have a deep freezer in the garage, and we've been doing a really good job of like eating <laughs> everything up um, that we've had in there for a while. So I'm kind of like slowly adding some more things back in. I think I'm gonna make these this weekend, um, just as we're watching football. So I'm gonna do the crescent rolls. We have some pizza sauce in the pantry. And then I add Parmesan cheese, which we already have, and then pepperoni. So um, just like a pizza roll, kind of. This week we're doing Olive Garden, chi Olive Garden chicken. It's literally the easiest thing. You just take chicken breasts, put it in a crock pot, put this bottle of Olive Garden dressing and Parmesan cheese and cook it up and it's just an easy, <laughs> yummy chicken dinner. Simple that we can pair with some vegetables. Lunchables um, for Avery and then I got these for this weekend. Maybe we can make some pumpkin cookies. Coffee. So I get asked a lot how I eat, drink my coffee. I drink it black. I know that's very boring. I don't add anything. I don't add milk, creamer, sugar, nothing. I like it black, which I know is boring, but I thought maybe I'd get some pumpkin spice coffee. I'll still drink it black, but just to add a little bit of fall to my morning coffee. And okay, this is the chicken I was talking about. So this is rotisserie chicken from Walmart. It's seasoned already, which I love. Um, I think the secret to a good chicken salad or chicken wrap is to make for sure this, the, there's really good seasoning on the chicken. So I got this and actually Mike eats this for lunches a lot as well. Hot dogs. I'm using this for a recipe. Z bars for Avery. Um, yogurt and then I've also been adding this I drink a lot of sparkling water I for the most part just drink water occasionally I'll have a Sprite Zero um, but I either add this crystal light or I do sparkling water and then before I went in to Walmart or before I got the groceries I ran in really quickly because Avery needed a winter coat and I was looking online and Winter coats are so expensive. This one was $19 and it's fleece lined. It's just, it's a really nice coat for $19 for Avery. The twins don't need any coats just because they have leftover winter coats from Avery. Um, so I was excited to get that for her. And then, and then I also got some clothes for the twins. And when it comes to the twins, because they're super messy, 
um, and also no one's gonna wear it after them. I like to, to get the best deals as possible, so I either go to secondhand stores or I'll shop at Walmart, and Walmart prices are cheap, but the clothes are not cheap, so that's why I like using them. With Avery, you know, she also goes to school, needs to look a little bit nicer, and I know that her clothes are gonna get used through the twins, so I'm willing to spend some extra money. So for the twins, I love Walmart. So I got these cute tops, little detailing at the bottom, um, matching ones, which I don't always have the matching, but you know what's been happening lately? They've been fighting over. So I'll pick two shirts out and then they fight over who gets the pink one or the purple one. So I'm finding myself getting more double shirts just so we can end that argument in the mornings. <laughs> Oh, also I have my Yasso Bars chocolate chip cookie dough. I eat one of these every single night. They are Greek yogurt bars and it tastes like you're eating real ice cream. And then I also got these Halo Top. Um, this one is chocolate chip cookie dough. You can see that's my favorite. Um, but then this peanut butter cup is also really good. I definitely don't deprive myself at all. I have the cookies, I have the brownies. We actually have some um, donuts. My parents took the girls to the pumpkin farm yesterday. So I definitely eat all that, but I feel like with the Halo Top and the Yasso, I don't feel like I'm going the healthier route. Like I truly feel like I'm eating real ice cream. And so it's just nice to be able to sit there, eat a whole pint of ice cream, enjoy it, but also know that it's not like you're not eating all of this, you know, sugar and all of that. So got these. And if you guys are looking for ways to cut down maybe on sugar or, you know, ice cream, or you're just looking for something healthier um, where you don't feel like you're eating something that's healthier, definitely check out these Yasso bars or the Halo Top ice creams.